far away, she looks so good. Grew up in the same neighborhood, and that's how the rough soul in the wind. Spend a few hours on the reservoir. Never broke a bone, so I'm gonna try hard to prove you wrong. That I'm not who I used to. So when you walk in, you have a closet on this side. I just put some of my outerwear here, jackets, shoes at the bottom, and then my empty luggage is now just tucked in the corner. On this side is the bathroom. I hung some bags over here, and it has the toilet just like in its own room. And this is a really cool feature. There's like a sink at the top. So when you flush it, it runs some water and you can wash your hands right there. Then the shower is right next to it. Again, it's like a single shower by itself. You just close the door like that. And then on this side, you have the whole sink situation. Very nice, big mirror. Here is the main sleeping area. So I got my bed here. Not made, I'm so lazy. But yeah, I just brought this myself to make it a little bit more cute. They gave us a ton of bedding, but I didn't know what to do with it. It was honestly struggling last night putting it on, but I just put a simple sheet and fluffy blanket. These are my little cute guys I brought, Banana Slug and Little Bear. And this pillow is like a bean bag, which is pretty interesting, pretty comfy. Charger there. And then this is where I keep most of my things. Got trash can, hamper in the closet. I was filling this up today. Got everything stashed here and in those drawers, some belts, another mirror, what's up? And then this desk area is actually like so nice. It's very spacious. Got so much cabinets up here for some of my more random things. Snack drawer. Gotta take this now with all this traveling. There's this little posting wall, so I put some scheduling stuff. And then I also hung some of my jewelry on just thumbtacks. I think that's such a cute way to organize it. And then bags, the cutest little hair accessories and stuff. Here's my room key and all that. This photo is a little bit of a jump scare, but yeah. Anyways, I have to fill this out before going to class. Oh my God, little story why this paper is so messed up. There's a moth. That I stepped on on the floor of my room because I left the window open last night and I was like trying to get it out <laughs> with this, picking it up. It was a little bit of a mess, but we got it out eventually. A little fridge, hot water maker, and then favorite part is the view. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm gonna keep showing this over and over because it's just so pretty. And you can open this window up. I didn't know how to close it for the longest time, but there's a little push button there. And yeah, it's honestly really sunny and really hot. Like right now as I'm filming this, it's not even 6.30 and it has been shining bright for like the past hour or two. What is really insane. And that is pretty much it. Yeah, very nice room. I'm so blessed that it's a single room. Like I wouldn't mind sharing, but it's just so much easier where you can just throw all your stuff everywhere and really organize it how you want. Today we're starting off with some like campus tours and meet and greet sort of things with the students and staff. So excited for that. Probably gonna eat some stuff now. I'm getting a little hungry. Got my drawer stash with like oatmeal I think I'll make. So yeah, I think I'll vlog just some small clips of this first week. And I hope you guys find it entertaining, especially if you're interested in studying abroad yourself. I think it's a great opportunity. And I especially love this program because it's only like a month long. I'm super intimidated to try something like over a couple of months. Like most programs are a semester long. And that's really long to be away from home. It's a lot to pack. That's a lot of time away from friends and family. And I think one month is just so perfect where you can still experience the area and the culture, but not be too 
homesick in that time it'll still be like very exciting and fresh i'm excited to bring you guys along and let's get on with the rest of this week this is a good stretch Just finished our little school tour and I'm gonna lay down for a bit. Yesterday was honestly kind of chaotic. We had like a flight delay and then a moved flight which was also a little bit delayed and then we're supposed to catch a shuttle bus but it was so late when we actually got here they weren't even running anymore. So we ended up catching a taxi and paying a ton of money for that but we did eventually arrive which was great but yeah kind of drained i kept waking up in the night too just because like the time difference is so weird i woke up at like 4 a.m and then again at like 6 a.m and also the sun came up so so early but yeah i have like an hour or so before we're gonna grab lunch so i'm gonna just lay down and do nothing for a little bit so far the tour was great the campus is honestly really really nice so very excited to explore it a little bit more She comes. 